Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is William. Today on the lathe I have a nice little piece of sycamore. It's 10 inches. So with Valentine's Day closing in, I said I'd have a go at making a heart-shaped bowl. So I'll show you what I have. So as I said, I have a 10 inch piece of sycamore. I've already rounded it off and put a tenon on it just to speed it up a bit. But here is the shape I'm going for. So I just drew it out on a little piece of tin plywood and put it down, marked it out. So I'm going to pop over now to the bandsaw and cut it out. So I've no camera currently at the bandsaw, so I can't show you at the minute, but it's, it's pretty, sim pretty simple. Pretty simple to do. So I'll be back in a second as soon as I get it cut. So now there I have it cut out as best I could anyway. I said can, when I have it turned I can refine the edges a little bit better with a sander. So anyway we get it in a chuck and make a start on the turning. As I said I had it pre-rounded pre up and I had a tenon on it so just to speed me up a little bit. But, um, We'll give it a go. Let's go a little shade higher. Now I've just put a recess here because obviously this is going to be the inside of the bolt so I want to do the outside first. So I'll just flip it back around. So now as you can see this basically is similar to a winged bolt so you've got you've got one sharp corner of these coming around pretty fast so if they hit your your hand it's gonna it's gonna hurt or worse so just be mindful of where where they're coming around make sure your hands are this side of the tool rest So I'm going to leave a, leave a foot on this ball just to keep, to keep it uh, raised up off of the table a little, because it'll be it'll be a quite a shallow ball. Here we go. Move this one closer. So I want to take this edge back to somewhere here. It'll be a tin, fairly tin ball.
a little more. So I'm just nearly there where I want to be. So I might, I might leave it at that and stop at that. So just in case I need to throw up the other side a little bit. Some nice little bit of colour in that sycamore. Usually sycamore can be very plain. So I'm just going to get my shear scraper and just give this. There's a couple of little tool marks here, so I'm just going to give that a little scrape just to tidy it up a bit. Just a little one inch scraper, I've just raised the burr on it now, so should do a good job on cleaning this up. So that cleaned up pretty good. There's no tear out whatsoever. So I'm happy with that. So I'm happy with the foot. So I'm going to get this sanded now and I'll take it back when I have it sanded. You don't want to be watching me sanding. Sanding can be quite boring. So now that's our piece now all sanded. I sanded it up to 400 grit. So I'm going to apply a little colour, so um, the, from the intrinsic colour collection from Hampshire Sheen I'm going to apply some red. Wouldn't be Valentine's Day without a little bit of red. Just get some gloves on so I don't have red hands. So I'm just going to apply it with some paper towel. Now I'll just let that dry off now for a few minutes and I'll apply some sanding sealer. So now that's dry, I held to dry a little bit with a hair dryer just to speed it up a bit. So I'm going to apply some sanding sealer now. Sealer's taken off some of the colour, but that's okay because I put plenty on. Now I'll just let that dry and I'll get another coat on. So now we'll just let this dry off for a while. That's also when you're applying colour, there's a lot of waiting for colour to dry and sealer to dry. And well, it, it, it'll dry off in a few minutes. So now this is this is good and dry. Well, again, I had the hair dryer on it for a couple of, couple of minutes just to help it along. So I'm just going to de it with a bit of scotch brake pad. I'm not going to use Yorkshire grit on it because of these these odd shapes coming around it smacking my knuckles so I'm just going to denib it with a scratch pad. It should do. Just so as I can apply a little bit of wax. Again guys just be careful with your fingers. I can see the silhouette or the ghosting image of the of the, of the piece so I know where to put my hands. Now it's just, that's perfectly smooth now, so it's just re ready for wax. So I might as well get the wax on now. Uh, wax.
wax I'm going to use is um, Hampshire Sheen Microcrystalline Wax. Now that's the wax applied so I'll just leave it and sit for about 10 minutes just to dry. So now my wax is dry and ready to be buffed. I, as I said I left it for about 10 minutes which was only a second for you. A lot of waiting around for me. So I'm going to give it a buff now. So I've just rolled up three or four pieces of paper towel just to create like a little pad because as I said these sharp sharp pieces will, will hurt if you get a wrap on the finger. And I'm finished the piece after anyway, if I need to I can buff on the on the wheel. As I said I can buff it up later on on the on the on the wheels. So anyway, so we'll flip it around now and make a start on the inside. So now we're good to go. So I'm just going to put a fresh edge on this. Nearly there for thickness on the rim anyway, so obviously I have this in the middle to take. So I think one more pass should do. Just move my tool rest in a little bit. with that. So I have a nice even thickness all the way around, which is nice.
one more pass now on the just in the bottom here and I should be good to good to go start sanding so now happy with that I might actually just give that a small run of the scraper just along the bottom here Happy with that now, so I'm going to get it sanded, and again, I'll take you back as soon as I have it done. So now that's all the sanding finished, um, that sanded up really, really well. So I'm happy with that. Is it? I went very thin as well, so it's probably only about four millimeters thick. So um, yeah, happy the way it came out. I said small. When I when I marked out the piece, I didn't get this section here quite right, so I had to I had to hand sand this just a little bit, just to blend it in that it looked correct. But most of the rest of it was 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 pretty okay. So I'm I'm wondering now about coloring the inside because I did sand some of the edges here. I took away some of the color. So if I try to put some on now because it's a, it's um. Um, it's a, it's like a water-based color. It's going to stain into the, into the wood. So, I'm contemplating coloring the inside. So, will I or will or not? Yeah, maybe go for it. So again, it's the intrinsic color collection. It's the ruby. I'm happy with that. It actually looks quite good because you can still see all the lovely grain in the wood through it. So, so again, guys, I'm going to have to leave this to dry for a while, and I'll bring this back in a couple of minutes when it's done. So now that's our colour dry. So again, sanding sealer just to seal in the colour. Let that dry, and I'll get one more coat on. So now that's the sanding sealer dry, so it's ready for some wax. Uh, high gloss wax on as well. So now that's a coat of um, Hampshire Sheen high gloss wax. One more coat of microcrystalline. It's good to build up a couple of layers of wax on. Now I'm happy with the finish, so we'll take it off and we'll have a look. So it's nice; you can still see all the all the grain in the wood. So the, the red wasn't really overpowering, so which was nice. You can still see all the grain. I've just sorted out the tenant.
I said I went to about three millimeters thick or thin I should say because it was flexing quite a bit so there we have it now just finished our little love heart ball with Valentine's Day closing in so there's a good little project now for for your loved ones so as I said it was torn from a piece of sycamore and I said I added a bit of colour I don't usually do colour but I said I'd, I'd put a bit on this one it needed it um, it wasn't really overpowering because I can still see all the nice grain in the wood so which was quite nice um, I turned it really thin it's down to about three millimeters so it's flex flexing a little bit but it's nice it's nice and light it's a, a nice little piece so anyway guys if you like this video you might consider subscribing hitting the like button and uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think and um, I should catch you on the next one so bye for now